All you need to know about Drone DJI Avada 2. With their roots in the world of drone racing, first-person view drones provide a flying experience that is quicker, smoother, and more entertaining than the camera drones that we have generally featured in the gear section. FPV drones are short for first-person view. In a grossly oversimplified manner, if ordinary drones such as the recently released DJI Air 3 fly like helicopters, then first-person view drones behave more like airplanes. FPV drones are capable of performing acrobatic maneuvers such as banking, drift, climbing, and plunge and can even perform loops, flips, and barrel rolls if they are piloted by a skilled individual. This is in contrast to the majority of drones which are designed to maintain as much stability and levelness as possible while in the air. This is done to provide a stable platform for photography and videography. Take a look at the videos that are available on YouTube if you are interested in seeing how amazingly agile these creatures can be. Avatar 2, which is manufactured by DJI, is designed to reduce the level of expertise required for first-person view flight, while still providing an amazing first-person experience. And I am overjoyed to report that it is successful, as it transformed me from a nervous newbie into a joyous, gap-threading adrenaline junkie in a matter of minutes. Complete, in every respect. Only in a Fly More package with the DJI Goggles 3 which retails for $499 and the DJI RC Motion 3 which retails for $99, two new accessories that are being released at the same time as the Avada 2 now available for purchase. The first version is a brand new headset that features two full HD OLED panels that transmit a live feed from the front-mounted camera of the drone right to the eyes of the person wearing it. The latter is a controller that can be operated with one hand and is used to steer and power the drone through the use of tilting motions and just a few control buttons. You will be able to purchase the Avada 2 by itself for the price of $489 when it finally becomes available. The first-person perspective of a drone with four propellers. The headset for controlling the drone is located in the bottom left corner. The remote control is placed on the bottom right. When you purchase one of the two Fly More bundles, you will receive either one battery which costs $999 or three batteries which costs $1,199. Each battery has a capacity of approximately 23 minutes of flight time when fully charged. Additionally, the more expensive package includes a cradle that is capable of providing rapid charging to three batteries in a row, as well as a well-made sling bag that has space for the drone controller, cradle, batteries, and headset, in addition to cables, additional propellers, and memory cards, respectively. On the moment that I turned on the Avada 2, Goggles 3, and RC Motion 3, they quickly coupled with each other. To my relief, as someone who wears spectacles, I discovered that the headset was very accommodating. I was able to get a clear view of the displays thanks to its eyepieces that adjust for interpupillary distance and its diopter that corrects vision. Additionally, the strap that twists to adjust and the weight distribution made it pleasant to wear for extended periods. There is no discernible lag from the drone camera and the image quality that is displayed on the mini OLED panels is crisp and brilliant. In addition to that, it can also be utilized to substitute for your eyes. By double tapping the side of the headset, you can switch from the drone to a front camera feed. This gives you the ability to swiftly check out your surroundings in between flights without having to remove the goggles. A brief note for inhabitants of the United Kingdom. Even though the Avada 2 weighs 377 grams, it is lighter than the original DJI Avada. However, this weight limits the areas in which it can be flown lawfully. It must be maintained 150 meters away from residential, recreational, commercial, or industrial sites, and it must be kept 50 meters away from persons who are not involved. This is the same requirement for any drone that weighs 250 grams or more. If you decide to purchase one in the United Kingdom, you should be informed that you will not be able to simply fly it around in your neighborhood park. The controller of quality. I'm just starting the first person view and the RC Motion 3 might be the ideal controller for me. Once the drone is hovering, which just involves a few button presses, the controller can be twisted to modify its position and the trigger can be used to adjust the speed of the drone. Simply pointing the cursor on the screen in the direction that I want the drone to travel will cause it to move in that direction. When you point the Avada 2 in the direction of a space between the rails of a fence, it will effortlessly pass through the space. There is no reason for it to be any simpler than it is. I can bring the drone back to a safe hover by using the brake button if I come to an unexpected stop. However, this does not mean that it can't crash, and I was able to bring the drone down once by directing it to crash squarely against the post of the fence that was indicated earlier. Even after it had fallen approximately 8 feet onto the stones of a beach, it was perfectly oak to continue flying and there was no obvious mark on it. The construction of this item is impeccable. And although I do not doubt that it will eventually sustain damage as a result of numerous high-speed collisions, it is evident that it is made to resist some level of abuse. 
However, what about those incredible aerial stunts that can be found on YouTube? Using the motion controller, unfortunately you won't be able to pull these off successfully. One of the drawbacks of its user-friendly simplicity is that it does not function in the same manner as a controller that operates with two sticks. Imagine it as a gamepad that has training wheels attached to it. If you cease flying, for example, to dive, it will ultimately stop moving and will hover in place. Ingenious, yet constrained in scope. VJI offers the Remote Controller 3, which is a console-style controller that costs $199 and allows you to fly the drone in manual mode. This controller is designed for individuals who wish to advance to more difficult manual flight modes. When it comes to this situation, the training wheels are off and even the smallest mistake can result in an accident that is both embarrassing and potentially expensive. If you can do so, you are also capable of performing fantastic tricks. It seems to me that the RC Motion 3 is sufficient for the time being, especially considering that I am eager to send the Avada 2 sample back to GGI as a whole. The electronically stabilized camera on the Avatar 2 is capable of recording video at either 4K per 60 frames per second or 2.7K per 120 frames per second, which has enabled me to shoot some very remarkable footage. There is also the possibility of employing a 10-bit D-Love M color profile for additional color grading once the production has been completed. It comes with a microSD card for people who need more storage capacity, in addition to the 46 gigabytes of built-in storage that can be used for videos and 12 megapixel photographs. My first first-person view. Last but not least, the Avada 2 is the most recent in a long line of drones manufactured by DJI. It is designed to make it simple for novices to obtain excellent results. In this particular instance, it makes first-person view flying exceedingly easy and intuitive, and its camera enables you to create some exhilarating and smooth cinematic moments with very little effort on your part. Furthermore, there is a dearth of comparable products available on the market, with the majority of first-person view FPV drones being kits constructed by enthusiasts, rather than designs that are user-friendly for consumers. Therefore, the original DJI Avada is the most viable alternative to the Avada 2 that is currently available. And for those who already own the first-generation device, I would suggest that the upgrades here do not necessitate an upgrade, except the Goggles 3, which is not retro-compatible. Nevertheless, if you are new to the first-person view game, I strongly recommend that you select the most recent version. There are enhancements throughout the board, including increased flight performance, longer flight time, intelligent flight modes, and advanced safety features. The price increase is only $179, but it also includes these improvements. If you are searching for a means to get started with first-person view FPV video games, the Avada 2 is the most accessible option available. This concludes the video for the day. Have you enjoyed it? Please leave your insightful response in the section below labeled comments, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional informative, engaging videos.